some modern genetics concepts. We will see during this lesson that some modern genetics concepts. What is the concept about of chromosomes and genes? We will also see what is the meaning of Mendelian genetics and non-Mendelian genetics. We will also see what is the meaning of genotypes and phenotypes and what is the meaning of mutation and polymorphisms. So what is chromosome? Chromosome is a genetic material or a specialized structure which are present in the nuclei of the eukaryotic cell. Chromosomes, they are also present in the cytoplasm of the prokaryotic cells. In case of prokaryotic cells, there is generally a one and single a circular chromosome. While in case of eukaryotic cells, there are multiple and linear shaped structures which are called as chromosome. The number of chromosomes varies in different species. In some of the species, the number of chromosome can be two and in some of the species, the number of chromosome extends up to 300 in number. Here is the diagram to explain the structures of the chromosome. This is the prokaryotic cell. In case of prokaryotic cell, there is a single circular, single circular chromosome. While in case of eukaryotic cell within the nucleus, there are multiple number of chromosomes which are present in the eukaryotic cell. There are some eukaryotic cell that have the chromosome number 2 and it can vary up to 300 in certain species. So what is the meaning or what is the concept of a gene? Genes are discrete heredity units. Genes are present on the chromosomes. Uh, genes, they are responsible for the certain traits. They are responsible for different kind of the phenotypes. Genes is a specific sequence of the DNA. There are some genes which are overlapping on the chromosomes. And in some cases, there is a, a gene 1 and there is a intergenic DNA. And after intergenic DNA, there is a gene 2. So genes, they are the discrete or distinct heredity units which are present on the chromosomes. Mendelian and non-Mendelian genetics. Mendelian genetics is all the laws which were formulated by the Gregor Mendel. Those laws, they are called as Mendelian genetics. Gregor Mendel formulated the law of dominance the law of segregation and the law of independent assortment. Here, all those genes which obey the law of uh, independent, independent assortment and the law of segregation, such a genetics is called as Mendelian genetics. While in case of non-Mendelian genetics, all those genes which do not obey the laws of heredity or the laws which were formulated by the Gregor Mendel, those genes or that pattern of inheritance is called as non-Mendelian genetics. The examples of non-Mendelian genetics, they are like maternal effect, pleiotropy, epigenetics, or the my mitochondrial inheritance are the examples of non-Mendelian genetics. What is the meaning of genotype and phenotype? Genotype is the genetic makeup of an organism that includes number of chromosomes, number of genes, the sequence of the genes or the inheritance pattern of an organism. That is the uh, genotype. While phenotype is the physical appearance of an organism like the height of an individual, the color of the skins or the color of the eyes, these traits they are called as uh, phenotypes. If we uh, see the comparison between uh, genotype and phenotype, one phenotype 
would have more than one genotype like if we say there is a phenotype which is detached ear lobes in case of detached ear lobes phen uh, genotype can be homozygous in case of capital e and capital e and in case of detached ear lobe the genotype can be heterozygous mean one allele is e and the second allele is different from the first allele so considering the phenotype that is detached ear lobe that have two types of the genotypes there is an other example of genotype and phenotype we can take the example of the human eye color in case of human eye color there are blue eyes there are brown eyes in case of blue eyes uh, the genotype is small b and small b while in case of brown eyes the genotype can be homozygous both alleles are similar or the both alleles can be different from each other or they can be heterozygous so this is the concept of genotype and phenotype at the molecular level what is the mutation mutation is a change in the dna sequence in some according to some geneticist it can be a disease causing change while according to others it can be a genetic variant and it is not necessary that that is a, a Uh, any phenot uh, any pathogenic mutation so we can uh, some of the geneticist or researchers they say that it is a better to use the term genetic variant instead of a mutation mutation can be harmful mutation can be beneficial and sometimes mutation do not have any effect on the phenotype of the organism what is the meaning of the polymorphism polymorphism is if there is a genetic change in a particular population that is more than 1% in the in the general population that change is present in the general population which is more than 1% then it is usually called as a polymorphism polymorphism uh, can be a change of single nucleotide or sometimes this change extend more than one sing single a single nucleotide it extends up to thousands of the nucleotides and polymorphism either it have effect on the phenotype and sometimes it do not have the effect on the phenotype or if we do the comparison between the mutation and the polymorphism mutation is usually or it can be less than 1% and and the uh, polymorphism it can be more than 1% in that particular population